Hey, good night, Alex. Good night, V. How are you guys? Hi, Nubia. How are you, girl? How are you? How are you guys doing? Alex, V, and Nubia, how are you guys? I'm okay. I'm so happy that I can see you once again. Yeah, sorry for yesterday. How was everything going? How was your day today? Was it good? Thank you, teacher. I happy to see you too. Yeah, yeah me, see, me too, guys. I miss you yesterday. But I, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, um, be with you guys because I have an emergency with my mom. That's why. Your mom is okay? Right now she's established. But yesterday she, she was really, really bad. Because she had a, a she's, she has a diabetes and her diabetes blood pressure went down. So I had to like, hurry to take care of her. Mm -hmm. That's why we couldn't have class yesterday because I have a family emergency. But right now she's okay. So far she's okay. At least better than yesterday. She went to the doctor today. So that's why we couldn't have a class yesterday. So guys, I'm sorry. But uh, today, that you know what will be uh, the really good news? That I'm going to see you until Friday. So that would be amazing. <laughs> so we're going to have classes today, tomorrow, and until Friday. Don't you like it? I do like it. <laughs> hey, guys. So I'm so happy. Hey, Alex, you are in a different part of your uh, house. Is that correct? Are you in the living room? Um, no. <clears throat> This is my, okay, no, no, it, it's yes? living room. Is it your living room? <laughs> yes, living That's room. great. Yeah. Hey, what happened with the cup of coffee? No, not yet. Not yet? Uh, after class, no. right? After after class. With your dinner, if I, if I can remember that. I imagine yeah, that yes. with your dinner, yeah? No, no, I was dinner. Oh, you already have your dinner? Yeah. Oh. Only, only, only missing the coffee. Oh, you only missing the coffee, but the coffee is after class. After class. <laughs> you see, Carlitos. You know why? Because he didn't want to share coffee with us. Remember? Ah, uh, <laughs> no, that's no I way. God, come on, Alex. Mm, no. I like coffee. Right now, I'm drinking white tea. Right now. Yes. Yeah. Tea is better. I love tea. Mm -hmm. But white tea I'm drinking because uh, it helps with the digestion and all the stuff. I haven't had my uh, dinner yet because I'm not hungry. I don't know why. I love coffee too. You like coffee too, Nubi? Oh, yeah. Yes, Mahada Oro. Oh, well, yeah. I love coffee. I love it. Uh, I'm, I, you know what, guys? When you are crazy about something, when you love something like a lot, you put the, the word holic at the end. So if you're crazy about coffee, you, you can say coffee holic, right? Holic. Like somebody like crazy about uh, alcohol beverage, they say alcoholic, right? But alcoholic. in this case, since you're crazy about coffee, you said coffee holic or milk holic or chocolate holic. I don't know. Like if you're crazy about something, just add the word holic at the end. That's good. So I mean, <laughs> Alex and Nubi and myself, we're coffee holic. Yeah. I love Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh, Bree, so you're a cook colic. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. But don't drink it too much, right? Because you need to be careful with I, about your liver. I, I'm not a healthy person. People. People are You're person. not a person. Person. I'm person. not a healthy person. <laughs> really? No. But no, well, if you, if you, but you drink a lot of water. Or, oh yeah so if you drink yes. a lot of water that's good yes. that's good so you always have a like a cold coke uh during the day right in the lunch at lunch time okay yeah at lunch sometimes at dinner too <laughs> don't tell me that at breakfast because i would be like ah really 
<laughs> Yo, you know what? Uh, I don't know what happened, guys, but I used to work in a call center and most of my co-workers for my account or for different accounts, they used to have like breakfast, but they do not eat like uh, or drink hot things uh, like in breakfast time. They usually drink something cold, like juice, like Coke. And I was like, oh my God, uh, no way. I yeah. Like but in the morning uh, with breakfast, I only, I ever eat, eat, take a cup of coffee. Uh huh. Yeah, because we are used to like drink hot things, right? Like coffee or coffee with milk, or hot milk or hot chocolate. But most of my coworkers, they are used to drink like cold things in the morning. Well, I have said orange juice, right? That's okay. But a Coke or another kind of beverage, a cold beverage in the morning, like mm -mm. for me, it's like okay. I don't the get coffee, it. The coffee in the morning is like a coffee because the coffee, there are uh, coffee plus uh, sugar, yeah. my, uh, caramel like, and other. Anything. But imagine I combine it with the scrambled eggs, fried beans, fried uh, bananas and all those stuff. Uh, <laughs> well, at least with with uh, with uh, pupusas, I get it, right? I get it. Uh, for, for example, I don't like the coffee hot. Coffee. You don't have no, hot coffee. I, uh, no, no, I don't like. Uh, I like. Uh, ice coffee. Say. Ah, okay, got it. Like, like, uh, like a. Like frozen. a smoothie. Yeah. Or yeah. frozen. Yes. Ah, uh, ah, I, I, ah. I love this, 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 this coffee in this. In the, in the morning. Oh, in the morning, no, whatever it is. Hey, whatever. Oh, but, that's cool. Uh, but, but the Coca Cola in the morning. It's weird, right? Oh, only when I need to rechase the, the Recha battery. Recharge, <laughs> recharge your, your batteries. Recharge your batteries. <laughs> Maybe a Red Bull will be fine, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. Okay, let me ask you guys. Now that we are talking about likes and dislikes, we're talking about food, right? I, I really love food. And that was because, <laughs> because of Alex. Right, it was Alex's fault that we started talking about <laughs> beverages and all the stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But now, guys, let's talk about things that we like and dislikes, but related to living. For example, a uh, what do you prefer living in a house or living in an apartment? Who prefers prefer living in a house? Living in a house, who living prefer in house. living in a house? Nubi, in Carlitos, house. what house. about you, Brie? What about you, Dinita? I live in, in an apartment. apartment. You live in an apartment. Okay, cool. Stay with there. Stay, stay there. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, raise your hand, guys, or tell me who lives in a house. Who lives in a house? Okay, Alex, Carlitos, Nelsie, Bree. Uh, me, teacher. Also, me. you, Nubi? Okay. Yes. What about you, Jesse? No? Jesse, do you live in an apartment? Or in a house. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nubi lives in a house. All right. What about you, uh, Jesse? Do you live in an apartment or do you live in a house? In a house. In a house. All right. So I think only uh, Dinita lives in an apartment, right? Only her. Okay. Cool. May I ask you guys? All your life, since you were little babies, you're still babies, right? <laughs> but since you were little babies until now, do you have lived all your life in a house or by any chance in your life, you have lived in an apartment? Nobody? No. Alex, no. No, no, no. All no. the times in a house. In a house. What about you, Jesse? What about you, Bree? And B? House. House? Yes, I live in All righty. What about you, uh, Nubi? Have you in a house? All the time? All the time in a all house. Time, all the time in a house. What about you, yeah. Bree? All my life, I'm living in a house. In a house. And what about you, Jesse? 
Yes. In the house. In the house. And you be Duran. What about you, girl? In the house. In the house. All righty. And Dinita, now you're living in an apartment, but you have lived in an apartment all your life, or you have lived once in a house. I I prefer living in a house, but it's it's too much expensive for me. Okay. That's that's a really good point, and thank you so much for letting me know. So so right now you live in an apartment, but when you yeah. were like little, when you were with your parents, do you used to live in a yeah, house? But... Yes, I live in a house. Okay, cool. So Dinita has a, a real a great experience, a more experience than us, because she has been uh, living in two different uh, kind of uh, scenarios. She has been living in a house and right now she's living in an apartment because her circumstances are different from us, right? I mean, it's different. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So now guys, and why I'm asking you that? Because um, you know what? When we are thinking about moving to a specific place, it could be a house, it could be an apartment, whatever. We, for example, guys, we evaluate many things, right? We, if you want to move for a, to a house, for example, or to an apartment, I don't know, you evaluate a different kind of houses, right? You don't go to the first one, right? You just check the first one. You have like three options, for example. And you evaluate the house letter A, house B, and house C. And then you decide which one is good for you, for your family. And of course, for your budget, right? Okay, yes. And also, uh, comp comparison. No, comparisons. No. That is evaluation. Oh, okay. yeah, yes, hold it, hold it. That's what I'm asking you. That's why I just not use the other word. Because yeah. right now, when you want to buy or to move a house, you compare, Not you don't go to the first option, guys. You compare two or three options and then you decide which one works better for your needs. Like also an apartment. You don't go to the first option. You just go, you just uh, compare, you just evaluate one, two or three, and then you decide which one will better will work for your needs and for your family, right? You're evaluate, you evaluate an apartment, you're evaluate on a house. Then also you can compare like Nubia said, you can compare a house with an apartment and vice versa, okay? So guys, we use evaluations and we use comparisons when we're talking about moving or living in a specific place, right? But also guys, we compare. We compare between the advantages and disadvantages of one thing through another, okay? Is that right? For example, when you move, Dinita, you right now you're in a, in an apartment, but of course you have another options, right? Another yeah. option, and then you decide, okay, okay, I have these three options, but which ones are the advantages and disadvantages? Okay, uh, where this uh, apartment is located, how many rooms they have, okay, if there's a security, uh, how much do I have to pay for the rent, etc. Right. There's a lot of things that you that are involved as well, guys, when you moved in the house. So when we're talking about evaluation and comparisons, we can use, guys, an adjectives, and also we can use nouns to talk about evaluations and to talk about um, comparisons. Guys, sometimes we are going to be the one who lives in an apartment or lives in a, in a house, but sometimes we are going to rent an apartment for somebody else or rent a house for somebody else. So sometimes we can be in the in two opposite sizes. So we need to learn vocabulary in order for us to evaluate and compare, okay? So we're going to learn some adjectives and some nouns. But guys, may I ask you something? I want to know if you know that. Uh, what is a noun, guys? What is a noun? ¿Qué es un nombre? What is a noun? Anybody that has an idea? 
Only one, only one, please. Only one at a time. I know that everybody wants to participate. And I know, I know, I know. But hold your horses, hold your horses. What is a noun? A mouse. Is this a noun? I think. Yeah. I think a person. A thing, a person. What else? Uh, place. A place, exactly. And now, un nombre. Very good. A mouse. It's a thing. A teacher. It's a person. A student. It's a person. Uh, Lago de Cuatepeque. It's a place, right? So this is a noun. Now, guys, let me ask you. Think in Spanish, okay? Because it's exactly the same meaning in English. Uh, what is an adjective? Small, large. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't, those are examples. Exactly. Very good, movie. But I want to know how, what is the definition uh, is of an adjective? Description? Very good, Vane. Yes. An adjective describes what, guys? Nouns. Exactly, Nuvi. An adjective describes nouns. For example, the example that, that Nuvi gave us. Small, big, large. But guys, those are common um, adjectives. But now, guys, I want to show you some adjectives, useful adjectives, that will help us, guys, describe and evaluate house and apartments just for you to describe your house describe your apartment or it will help you if you want to move to a different apartment maybe dinita will have a, that goal in the future or maybe guys nelsi or alex decide to move i don't know but guys we need vocabulary is that correct we need vocabulary we need to know more adjectives in order to describe houses and also um, apartments and evaluate them. But may I ask you guys, have you understand so far what we're talking about? Yes. Yes? Nubi, yeah. Alex, Nelson? Yes, teacher. Por que veces yes, yo lo veo así como... All right. All right. It's like... Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to show and to share with you. Voy a mostrarles y compartir con ustedes adjectives, adjetivos, que they are very useful, que son muy útiles when you evaluate, cuando evalúas, when you compare, cuando comparas, right? Talking about houses and apartments. Vamos a, a ver no solamente your pronunciation and what is the meaning in Spanish, but at the same time, uh, we're going to detect or to identify if there are positive adjectives or if they're negative adjectives, yeah? Okay, are you with me? Yeah. Are you with me? Yes. Yeah, yes. that's the uh, spirit, yeah, energy, come on. Very good, guys, <laughs> woohoo. All right, so let me just a couple of minutes and let me share it right now, there you go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, let me put it a little bit bigger before I show it to you, there you go, all right. Okay, I'm gonna share right now with you. Ooh, let me close this and let me open it again. There you go, that's what I need. Okay, guys, do me a favor. Can you see my screen? Is it busy yes. for you? Yeah? Yes, yeah okay, cool. Yes, yes. Alex? What power? Yeah. Very good, that's what I want. Yes. Okay, guys, so if you look at this, if you look at this chart, we do have some adjectives that are used to describe houses and apartments. So guys, those are uh, some of them are positive and some of them are negative. But before we go into that, we're, I'm going to ask you, uh, well, we're going to go one by one. And also guys, we're going to double check if you understand or if you know what's the meaning. For example, guys, what's the meaning of bright in Spanish? What is bright? Okay, yeah. bright. Brillante. Exactly. Brilliant. Luminoso. Que te, oh, luminoso. Que entra mucha luz, right? Bright. All right. What is comfortable? Comfortable. Very good. Very good. Convenient. 
Conveniente. Conveniente. What is crumpet? Estrecho. Exactly. Very good, girl. Very good. Estrecho. Muy bien. Right. Que no cabe ni siquiera un, un zancudo. Very good. Dangerous. Peligroso. Exactly. What is dark? Oscuro. 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 Exactly. Is the opposite, guys, of bright. Yeah? Right. Okay. What is dingy? Sucio. Are you sure? I don't know. Come on. Yeah. You don't know. I don't know. Dingy. Dingy, yeah. Dingy. Dingy. Mm -hmm. Deja de comer mucho chocolate. <laughs> yes, I love chocolate. I'm sorry. I do. Yeah, it's, it, uh, it, uh, yes, it is sucio. <laughs> But, but but guys, dingy is more like lujubre, right? Okay. Like, like, like a local Adam's house, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But but you can also use it for 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 sucio as well as well. Okay. Expensive. Caro. Very good. Huge. Enorme. Enorme. Very good. Oh. Inconvenient. 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 Exactly. It's the opposite of convenient, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, modern. Moderno. Moderno. Very good. Moderno. Noisy. Ruidoso. Ruidoso. Very good. Private. Private. Privado. Quiet. Callado. Silencio. Tranquilo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Como tranquilo. Safe. Okay. Seguro. Seguro. Very good. Xavi. Como yo. No, that is Shobi. No. It's different. Ah, <laughs> no, eso no es gordito. Yes. Eso ah, no es gordito. Shabby, yeah, Shabby, eh, Carlito es como en mal, en mal estado. También como. <laughs> oh my God, no, I didn't mean to do that. Same. Say that. Oh my God. Come on. What is this? We're describing apartments and houses, not persons. Ay, okay. Carlitos, come on. <laughs> All right, but Xavi is algo de mal estado, como que está, está cayendo se pues la casa, ¿no? Okay. Sí, okay. el cielo falso se está cayendo, hay goteras, etc. Goteras se dice leaks, yes, just to let leaks. you know, leaks. O sea, porque cuando cae, le hace clic, 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 ¿verdad que sí? Entonces como que hace leak, 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 por eso es que se dice leak, goteras. Ok, small. Pequeño. Pequeño. Uh -huh. Pequeño. Pequeño. Espacioso. 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 Very good. Guys, so now let's do something before we practice the pronunciation. Can you please let me know comfortable? Is it a positive or a negative? Positive. 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 Very positive. good. What about convenient? Is it positive or negative? Positive. 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 Crumpet? Negative. 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 Dangerous? Negative. 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 Dark? Negative. 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 Very good. Okay, with dark was negative. What about dingy? Negative. 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 Of course it's negative. What about expensive? Yes, girl. Excuse negative. me. Negative. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. What is the meaning of dingy? What was the meaning of dingy, guys? Dingy is lugubre. Sucio, lugubre. Lugubre. Very Thank good. You. You're welcome. Huge. Is it, po is it positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Positive, well, right? Yes, depends, positive. right? Depends. Yes. Dep it could be. So we can put positive, negative. Depends. Uh -huh, depends. Depends on what you're looking for. Uh, inconvenient? Yeah. Uh, negative. 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 Modern? Uh, positive. That's positive. positive. What about yeah. noisy? Negative. 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 Private? Positive. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Quiet. Positive. 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 Safe. Positive. Shabby. Negative. 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 Small. Negative. 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 And spacious. Positive. 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 Very good. So if you see, guys, I think we have more negative than positive. What do you think? Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, but guys, may I ask you, are these uh, the adjectives, are they 
uh, do you have a, a new word for you? Or all of them you already know what does it mean? I have a new word. No. Which one? Bright for me, bright. Bright, okay. Uh, come, what come, else? Come, 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 come. Very good. So you see, you learn three, new, three words. Words, new words. Exactly. Three words. And those girl, those guys also will be in Spanish. Pam para tu matata. You will have yeah. three new words. Yeah. Pam para tu matata. You see? That will help you guys describe your house and other people's house. It will help you guys to evaluate when you are thinking to move. Right? Okay, guys. So let's practice um, the pronunciation, okay? okay? All right, guys. Okay. okay. There you go. Repeat after me. Right. 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 Comfortable. 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 Convenient. 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 Cramped. 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 Dangerous. Dangerous. Remember Michael Jackson's son? Dangerous. Exactly that one. Okay. Dark. 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 Dingy. 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 Expensive. 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 Huge. 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 Very good. Inconvenient. Huge. Inconvenient. Modern. 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 Noisy. 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 Private. 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 Quiet. 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 Safe. 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 Shabby. 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 Small. 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 Uh -uh. Again, small. 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 Uh -uh. I don't want to hear the E. Small. 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 Very good. Spacious. Spacious. Very good. Very good. So you see, guys, we have learned and increased our vocabulary in regards to adjectives that will help us describe an apartments and houses. Now, guys. Let's think about that. Okay, so now that we already increased our vocabulary, it's really important to get to know um, what is exactly the words that we can use, for example, if we want to evaluate a house or an apartment. Okay. The, I, I told you guys at the beginning of the class that we can use the evaluation with adjectives, but also with what else? With? Mm -hmm. With mm -hmm. nouns, all right? Mm -hmm. With adjective and with nouns. And guys, we're going to use two specific words in order for us to make sense about what we're talking about. We're going to use two, and at the same time, we're going to use another adverb that is enough, right? Enough. enough. And enough, exactly. Enough. Now, first of all, because I don't want you to get confused, I will share with you an example and the formula that we can use when we're talking about evaluation with adjectives. And then we're going to talk about evaluations with nouns. Okay? <coughs> All righty. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, guys. I will ask you something. <laughs> but yes, very good. All right. But before we go into that, may I show you um, a picture? I want to show you a picture, guys. And all that I want, uh, your opinion, of course, these pictures, uh, basically there are two pictures. One is an apartment and the other one is a house. So I want you guys just to use the adjectives that we have learned right now that about describing the, the spaces and the house and everything. So I just want you guys to let me know if the house in Armour is modern, is noisy, it is bright, it is big, it is small, cramped, I don't know, okay? I'm going to share right now with you the images and I want your opinion about. 
So let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay, guys, can you see my picture? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, if you see, we have two pictures. On the right side, I have a house. And on the left side, I have an apartment. Okay, right now, don't focus on the left side. I want all your eyes put attention on the right image, the house. Can you please give it to me uh, an adjective to describe the house? Uh, it's very, very small. One step uh, living room. The One house? Step, no, the, the apartment. No, I'm, no, no, uh, no, Carlitos. I want you to help me describing the house, not the, the apartment house. yet. Yes. Okay. There are um, a sofa, tables. Mm -hmm. uh, what I else? Have, I don't know how do you say um, chimenea. Chimney. 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 Um, up, upstairs. Oh, there we the, have stairs. Okay. Yes. Uh, another. We have lamps. Lamps. Mirror. Uh, mirror. Very good. Uh, another a bar, I think so. doors for other places. Very good, uh, yes. Uh, we have pillows, right? Almohaditas or cojines. Uh, pillow, okay. yes. Guys, very good, Carlitos. Now do me a favor. Can you please use the, um, the adjective that we have seen? I, I want you, I'm going to share right now with you guys in order for you to have them, okay? The Let's house see. is expensive. It's, it's expensive. What else? It's spacious. It's spacious. It's spacious. Comfortable. 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 What else? Um, I'm sending it to you right now. The it's more spacious. More spacious. spacious. More spacious. All righty. What else? The house is more expensive. It's more expensive. What else? Oh, um, is it is it bright? Is it dark? What do you think? It's a bright. It's a bright. bright. It's a bright. Do you, do you think, guys, it's cramped? The house, no. No, no. right? No. Because it's spacious. It's, yes. It's oh, right. uh, modern. It's modern. It's Very modern. good, Alex. Modern, yes. Is it uh, safe, quiet, and private? What do you think? Quiet. Quiet. Yeah, yeah, quiet. quiet. Uh huh. Is it convenient? Convenient. Yeah. What about huge? Is it huge? You know what huge is? Enorme. It's huge. It's enorme. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The, the, course, this right? house, this it's house huge. is like a, a vintage. Com uh -huh. Compared with my house, yeah. Style vintage. Compared with my house. <laughs> Oh, this come on. Uh, I just chosen. I just have chosen just one example. All righty. What about guys? Is it dingy? No, right? No, 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 no. not at all. Okay, very good. So we already have described the house according to the adjectives that we have learned so far. Now, guys, move your eyes to the apartment. The the picture on the left. Can you please mm -hmm. give me the adjectives to describe? I just need the adjectives that we have learned. Is it bright? It's a yeah. bright. Yeah. Why yes, is bright? it's a bright. Brilloso. Brilloso. Luminoso. Yes, I know, but why? Why is bright? Por qué? Yeah. When the window. Because why of the, the window. window. Yes. Oh, do you think, guys, that this apartment is in the first, second, third, or third floor? What do you third think? Third floor. Yeah, right? Third floor. Third yeah. floor or higher, right? Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. What else? What else? Can, what other problem? adjectives? Modern. Modern. It's small. This is small, right? It's too small. It's small yeah. yeah. Yes, because we have the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen together, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But do you think it's private and quiet? Maybe. Maybe, right? Mm, maybe, yes. I think that it's more cheap. It's cheaper, right? If, yeah. If, if when they open the window, it's new, amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you know what? I love the picture on the wall, right? It's modern. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. What about guys? Do you think it's comfortable? Uh, yeah. Maybe. 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 Depends, but right? Uh huh. Depends on what only two persons. Uh -huh. Two persons. Two. Exactly. Yeah, only one people. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so depends, one. right? Depends. Like a depends little poopy. <laughs> a little poopy. Yeah. Only for dinner. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Depends <laughs> if you're single or if you're a couple, right? And do not have like um cats, right? Yeah. Of course. So guys, wow. you see, we have seen two pictures. Okay. And thank you so much for helping me describe it, the the uh, apartment and the house with the adjectives that we have learned. Now, guys, mm, most of you guys live in a house. Only the Anita lives in an apartment. But may I ask you, uh, are, do you think there are advantages and disadvantages to live in a house and to live in an apartment? I bet yes. ventajas y desventajas, yeah? Yes, yes. yes there are, yeah. right? Yes, there yeah. are, right? There are pros yeah. and cons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, and tonses. So, in order for us to compare evaluate and compare for example houses versus an apartment and in the opposite way necesitamos saber cómo poder armar una oración o una estructura para poder eh, comparar casas versus apartments mm -hmm. para poder evaluar solo apartments y solo houses ¿sí? entonces Ahorita, now that we already have the vocabulary, ¿sí? que ya hemos visto y practicado los adjectives en las dos pictures, hoy sí les voy a enseñar la estructura de, para evaluar casas y, y apartamentos utilizing, or utilizing adjectives and nouns. ¿sí? Hoy sí, hoy sí vamos ahí. Y después vamos a practicar. ¿Me parece? Verbally. All okay. So let me just a couple of minutes. Woohoo, there you go. Okay. Let me do it here. There you go. Da -da -da -da. There you go. Flex. Okay. Okay, guys. Can you see it? See? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. What I want you guys is to focus here. Aquí, miren. Aquí quiero que me pusen kit. Aquí. All right, guys. Evaluation with adjectives. We're going to use enough. Que significa suficiente. Y tú, que significa también. Ok. How we're going to construct. Miren. Tenemos el subject primero. El verb to be all the time. O no vamos a usar ningún otro verbo más que verb to be. Ah, estoy hablando de evaluation with adjectives. Todavía no, no, ca no caigo en nouns. El adjective. Then enough. And then the complement. Y miren un ejemplo. Apartments aren't, en este caso lo vamos a usar de manera negativa, aren't big enough for families. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Los apartamentos no son lo suficientemente no son grandes, grandes para, para las familia. familias. Very good, exactly. We have another example. Apartments aren't spacious enough for family. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Yeah. No suficiente espacio no para la familia. Exactly. Y miren este último ejemplo que les voy a dar. Aquí está. Hoy lo voy a usar el are de manera positiva. Apartments are too small for families. Los apartamentos son muy pequeños para las familias. ¿Sí? Es un ejemplo nada más. Es un ejemplo. Very good. Ok. O incluso, chicos, podemos decir... Eh, apartments are too small in vez de families, podemos poner for pets, right? Para mascotas. ¿Sí? Como el ejemplo que está acá, miren. Ahorita, chicos, estoy aquí, en esta parte de arriba. Todavía no me he pasado para ningún otro lado. Les pregunto, so far so good? ¿Estamos bien ahorita? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes. 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 Can we move on? Vamos a, eh, seguimos, ya. Yeah? Okay. Please. Okay, my pleasure. Okay. Entonces, hoy vamos a otra. Ahorita ya vimos eh, evaluations with nouns. Hoy nos va a tocar ver evaluations with oh, adjectives y more. No. 
Ahorita vamos con nouns. Nouns. Exactly. Nouns. Y también vamos a usar lo mismo, miren. Enough and to all the time. Yeah. Which is the formula? Well, subject, verb, enough, noun, and complement. Ejemplo. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces for cars. Mire, ¿cuál es el noun? Parking spaces. ¿Qué quiere decir? Este. Los apartamentos no tienen suficiente lugar para que los carros se parquen, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O parqueo para carros, como usted quiera ver. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Ahora bien, también, mire, vamos a usar el to, ¿se recuerda? Vamos uh -huh. un ejemplo. Houses, las casas, cost too much money. Much. Lo que dijo Dinita, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Las casas cuestan mucha plata. Mucha plata. Too much money. Vea una cosa. Usé el too. Pero ¿por qué no dije too many money? ¿Por qué dije too much money? Because uh, it's uncomfortable. Exactly. Very good. Mire, el money is uncomfortable. Entonces, acuérdese que para uncomfortable, yo voy a usar el too much. 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 Ajá, sí. El much. El, much, el too acompañado del much. much. Muy bien. ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? Yes. Yeah, right? Okay, cool. Also, yes. excellent. All right. Eh, ¿Qué les parece si vamos ahorita a las comparaciones? ¿Parece? All right. Okay. There you go. Permítame que vamos a quitar esto acá. Okay. Si quiere que repita algo, I'll be more than glad to do it. No hay problema. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Hoy vamos, así como nosotros, we, we can evaluate Housing and apartments with adjectives and nouns. Also, guys, we can compare. Podemos comparar. Uh, you, we use a comparison with adjectives. And also, we can use comparison with nouns. Mire cuál es la formula para comparisons with adjectives. El subject, el verb to be, pone as, el adjective, as, y el noun. Ejemplo, houses aren't as convenient as Apartments. Los casas no son tan convenientes como los apartamentos. Very good, excellent. Sí, o sea, si usted se fija, eh, ok, mire, mire la fórmula para comparatives. As, 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 as es para evaluar, para comparar, perdón. ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? Bien. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. Yeah. Now do me a favor. Va, hoy vamos acá. A los comparisons with nouns. Vea que esta fórmula es un poquito más larga. Porque usted va sujeto, verbo, as, aquí. Por eso es que yo le preguntaba por qué puse much y por qué me puse many. many. Porque cuando usted haga con nouns, usted va a usar many si ocupa count noun. Y much si ocupa un non count noun. Después uh -huh. va poner una as otra vez y usted pone now mire el ejemplo apartments subject verdad aquí mire usted aquí va a usar otro verbo se recuerda que comparisons y evaluations eh, usted solamente iba a usar el verb to be pues vea que con, con adjectives pero vea que cuando usted lo ocupa con nouns puede usar cualquier otro verbo no solamente el verbo to be en las comparisons. Por ejemplo, apartments have, tienen as many rooms as houses, ¿verdad? Los apartamentos tienen tantos cuartos como las casas. Mire, as many rooms. ¿Por qué many? ¿Por qué many? Porque Contable. rooms es countable now. Oh, Very good job. Ahora bien, vamos a otro ejemplo. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Los apartamentos no tienen suficiente eh, privacidad como las casas, right? Mire, pongo negativamente, pongo as como está aquí, yes. pero uso much. ¿Por qué? Much. Porque privacy mm -hmm. es un incomfortable. Exactly. Entonces, el much privacy or many rooms va a ir en medio del as, as. Cuando usted termina esa idea, después pone 
now. En este caso sería now houses. ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? Yes. Yes. Seguro. Yes. Bri, B, Alex, Carlitos, yeah, mm. Nelsy, Bane, yeah. yeah. Are yes. you sure? Yeah. Okay. Más les vale. Be sure. Yes, okay. Alex. Um, I confuse uh, uh -huh. with the more and down. Ah. More and then. It's because more and then, more and then eh, Alex, they are not uh, adjectives and they are not nouns. They are adverbs. Uh -huh. And right now, yes, also you can use it. Just there's another way because they're like, you know what? That is what I love in English. That in English, there are many ways to say exactly the same idea. You can use more, you can use that. But right now, Carlitos, what I want you to learn is another way to talk about evaluations and to talk about comparisons. And in this case, we use to and enough with adjective and with nouns. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, you can say, um, I love more houses than apartments. Right? Tú amas más las casas que los apartamentos. O tú puedes decir, y ahí no estás comparando, ni evaluando. Simplemente estás dando tu opinión. Right? Es diferente cuando tú estás evaluating or compare. Que ahí sí tienes que usar lo que acabamos de ver. Pero, por ejemplo, tú dices, mm, I prefer, prefiero, I prefer to living in a house than an apartment. Prefiero vivir en una casa que en un apartamento. Right? Pero Dinita dice, no, I prefer living in an apartment than in a house. <laughs> yeah? This? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Si tú te fijas cuando usas more and then, don't, you don't evaluate, no evaluas, you don't compare, no comparas. You just show your point of view. Solo demuestras tu punto de vista con respecto a una cosa, right? Por eso it's que clear. It's clear, like water or like yeah. horchata. So-so. Um, <laughs> ah, no, 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 wait, there's no so-so. <laughs> like like uh, as a water, maybe? No, it's, it's, a, it's <laughs> Is clear. Is it clear? <laughs> okay, yeah, guys, clear. now that you have the, what I can, what I can say, the basis, la basis, then guys, we can talk about the advantage and the disadvantages about living in a house or living in an apartment. For example, guys, I know that all of you uh, lives uh, in a house except for Dinita. But think about it, guys. Do you think that houses is the same cost to live in a house in downtown, in La Escalón, in Sonsonate, in, in, I don't know, Aguachapán, or in Ataco, será lo mismo? No. Será lo mismo? No. no, right? No. It's different, right? No. It's different. Yeah. It's different. We, you have to evaluate, right? Maybe it's different regarding the, the privacy, regarding mm -hmm. the cost, right? The cost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Et cetera. Or for example, Dinita. We can find a lot of apartments here in El Salvador. Aquí, hoy, este, hoy estamos, antes era más um, raro que hayan apartamentos, hoy hay más, más apartamentos que antes, right? But for example, is it, it is different to live in an apartment in downtown, in el, in el centro, can to live in an apartment in Las Cascadas, right? Yeah. yeah. Or in Multiplaza, mm -hmm. Ooh, that you can pay... So for Very expensive. More. Exactly. You can put like a thousand dollars, and I can, and it's true, a thousand dollars monthly for an apartment. Imagine that, like, oh, no way. That living in an apartment, for example, in Sacamil, in Mexicanos, right? <laughs> yes. It's totally it's different. different. It's very cheap. <laughs> it's cheaper. No, it's very cheap. cheaper. It's yeah. It's but cheaper. guys. Cheaper and insecurity. Mm -hmm. So, guys, <laughs> when we want to, uh, when we decide 
to move in, uh, to live in a house or to live in an apartment, there's a lot of things that we need to take into consideration. Is that correct? Privacy, our budget, uh, if you have a family, if you don't have a family, if it's the house or the apartment is near to our workplace, for example, or near you to, the, to the, if you have a car, right? If you have, if you need to take the bus, or if, for example, if you have kids and you can find a school nearby, ooh, there's a lot of things involved, right? So, may, okay, guys, now may I ask you, um, can we talk about advantages and disadvantages of living in the house? Yes? Okay, yes. okay guys. Okay, okay. And Nelsie, for example, uh, you live in a house. So tell me or tell everybody, what is one advantage, una ventaja? Um, mm -hmm. One the first advantage is, is very very spacious mm -hmm. um you have a uh, a living room a bar a big bathroom and you you can have a a, a pet because in an apartment you can have a a, a pet i i think that it's my that's a vintage. Aha, uh -huh, that's an advantage. Okay, now uh, let's listen to the opposite side. Dinita, what can you tell us about an advantage of living in an apartment? Well, uh, it's for two people. Uh -huh. <laughs> they live, uh, and I have a privacy. It's very quiet. Too. And uh, it's yeah, when it's more when living in a house is more 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 spacious. So I don't have a space. I, I don't have. You don't have space. A space. It, it, you don't have enough space. No, exactly. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Exactly. So you so you think apartments are a no apartments aren't as spacious as houses, right? Yeah. Let's, let's try, guys, yeah. to use to use what we have learned so far. Okay, the evaluation and comparison. Okay. Okay. Cool. A anything else? I don't know. Do you have pets? I don't have pets. Oh. Yeah, because sometimes we don't live in the first floor, right? Or the second, or the third, or like and goes up, and yeah. uh, there is no jar for they to go to the bathroom yeah yeah i know yeah but so, sometimes we can find a, a, a spacious apartment but of course it costs more right and we have a, a budget tenemos nuestro presupuesto a budget right okay very good so now guys do me a favor and nelsie how to give us information about advantage of living in a house and dinita advantage of living in an apartment now guys i need an idea about disadvantage of living in a house, a negative way, algo negativo de vivir en una casa. Thank you so much, Alex, go ahead. <laughs> like, ah, teacher, you chose me. Yeah, I wanna hear your opinion about it. When, uh, algo negativo, when... <laughs> negative oh way. I, I, I don't, I don't live in an apartment, not, nothing. And no, I, I mean I in a care. house, in a house. Okay, in a house. Um, I'll go I, negative. I remember, mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember in, when, when living in the house with my mother, mm -hmm. uh, uh, my brother and I uh, sleep in the same, in the same, in the same bedroom. Bedroom, yes. Well, uh, it's not, don't like <laughs> You don't like exactly. it, yeah. Uh -huh. So that is one of the is advantage, right? Yeah. yeah. May I ask you, in most of the houses nowadays, do they have garage to park yeah, the, uh, the cars or no? Yeah, I have a garage. Have a garage. Oh, you're a lucky one. But may I ask you, nowadays, do you think all the houses have a garage to park the cars? Nope. Mm, All right. No, not really. No. Not really. All right. Yeah. So this is like sometimes we can live in a house, 
but there is no garage. So we need to like park our cars if you have it, right? On the road, on the street. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So let me ask you, let me just, Bane or Brie or Novi, any other disadvantage of living in a house? Advantage. Uh, no, disadvantage. The, the Negative way. Negative. Uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yes. Uh, the distance from work. Mm -hmm. in, in my case, for example. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, that's true. So that means if you start with your shift but, eight. Uh, yes. Yes. That instance. Uh, but but my house is, is expensive because I have three children. Ooh. Okay. Very much. And so very you need much a pets. huge house, right? So you need a yeah. huge house, yeah. Are they I still have, little? I have, excuse me? Are they still little, your children? Are they still little, tan chiquitos? Yes, yes. Oh. Yes, uh, is, uh, uh, they are uh, little. Oh, okay. The first, my first, my first child uh, have nine, nine, nine years. years old. Oh, nine yes. uh, years old. Still a baby, yeah. Yeah, uh, the more, the more little. The youngest uh, one? Four. Yeah, oh, my four. God. And four he's a girl. Uh, no, it's a boy. It's a boy, okay. It's a boy. The second is, is a girl. So you have two boys and one girl? Three, the, uh, two boys and one and a daughter. Yes, that, that's what I said, two boys and one girl. Oh my goodness. Yes, one okay. girl, one girl. Damn. But you see, she well, has a huge but, house because she has a huge family. Yes. But the inconvenience yes. that you have is that your house is not too close from your work, right? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. the, so that is one inconvenience. The distance. All righty. Yes, they, I, but I have, I have uh, uh, more, uh, uh, much uh, pets. I have, I have, have much pets. So, so your yes. house, that one convenient that you I, think is that your house is, uh, are as spacious as an apartment yes, it's, and, it's it gives, and it gives you the opportunity to have pets. Yes. How many dogs yes, do you I have? have I have rabbits. I have uh, parakeets. Parrots. I have a dog. Parrots. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So she I have is, a dog. I think Nubia has a farm. Tiene una tiene una farm yeah. dentro de su house, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Alex, you know what farm is? I, ha farm. I have a farm. What is farm? What is farm, Nubi? Granja. Granja. Oh, yeah. Uh, my Nubi, wife. No, Nubi dice que tiene got, eh, perritos, periquitos. Rabbits. Rabbits. So, ella tiene una, una granja dentro de su casa. Right? Ah, okay. No. No, no, no pero es, in, es, in estoy molestándola case, porque tiene un montón de manipulitos, <laughs> right? Yeah. In my case, <laughs> yes. um, I, I have a, a four puppies. Four puppies, Chihuahua yeah. ones or no? Yeah, <laughs> for 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 puppies, um, uh, two boys and two girls, and oh. my 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 wife uh, ha, my wife has um, in the in the back on the house in the backyard in the back of house in the backyard mm -hmm. um, chickens. Really? Chickens. Yeah. She but likes, she likes chickens, she likes but, but to eat them or just like a pets? Uh, for she is the, the pets. For, ah, for, for her. the family, for kids. No way. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. my God. You know what? I used to like, um, yeah, I, I love them. I, I cannot eat um, a chicken that I already know. And I already name it. Imagine that I have a chicken. Her name is Paquita. I, I won't be able to eat her. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I told you guys that my sister also has the same uh, the, the same of your of your wife, Alex. 
and also the same as Nubi. She has a, a lot of chickens and hens and rooster. There's a, a rooster, his name is uh, Pichi. But everybody said, hey, Pichi is already good, so we can have it for dinner, right? And she said, <laughs> no way. I'm going to keep Pichi as my pet. Nobody will kill him and have him for dinner. Yeah. And he's yeah. really lovely. Yes. Yeah, so I will send you oh. a picture of Pichi. Also, my wife and I, and I um, loves the love, love the plants, 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 yeah, flowers and plants. Yeah. Mm. Also, you you should have. I think your jar is really beautiful. What do you think, guys? So with tall. animals, with plants, if it that's great. Okay, so thank you so much, Alex. And also, thank you, Nubi. I want to hear Teacher, Brie. Teacher, excuse me. Yes, Nubi, go uh, ahead. I, I, I have asked a question. Go ahead. Uh, 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 loro is parrot. Parrot, yeah. Parrot. Uh, periquito. Parrot as well. Parrot. Uh, is, uh, so you say one? Yes, it's the same. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What about Bree? Bree, I want to hear you, Bree. Hi, teacher. Hello. You have been really quiet. I don't know why. <laughs> that, that is not the Bree that everybody used to know. Come on. <laughs> Bree, what do you think? Uh, can you please compare or can you give me like an advantage about living, uh, compare a house versus an apartment? Well, um, in my house, mm -hmm. I don't have um, much space for the parking car. Okay. I don't have garage. Oh, you see, there's no garage, and Alex has, he has a garage, but you don't. <laughs> okay. All righty, yeah. very good. And the neighbors uh, parking her cars in the on. On the street? <laughs> oh, really? Yes, and um, no dejan pasar, no sé cómo se diría. <laughs> they don't let us space to move. Uh -huh, space. Wow, you know, guys, we had uh, put a point in, a, in a, a really important point because, guys, sometimes, I don't know if that happens in your neighborhood, but it had happens in some of neighbor of the neighborhood that I used to live, that there is a house, it could be a garage, like for example, Alex, but sometimes they leave like five members in the family and each member of the family have their own car, right? So when they arrive in the garage, they can like put two cars, but what happened with the rest of the three of, the three of them? So they need to use the space on the street and all the stuff. So sometimes, like the example that I let you know, guys, uh, houses, there uh, hasn't enough parking spaces as an apartment, right? Yeah. yeah. So guys, this is going to be your homework for tomorrow. I teach you. Yes, Alex. <laughs> all right. So your homework for tomorrow, I will, I want uh five sentences okay. using <laughs> no two, come on no way uh using evaluations just uh, with adjectives and nouns using comparisons with adjectives and nouns uh, and you're going to evaluate houses versus an apartments but i will send you right now guys an example of how i would like you to uh, to to do your homework I'm going to give you like an example. I will send you right now the examples, but don't copy the examples, okay? Huh? <laughs> I'm just sending you an example. There you go. Okay, guys, I send you the examples right now. Send you 10 sentences. The first five are related to how to apartments. And the second one are related to houses, okay? So this is going to be the example. 
And I want you guys to try to do your best so we can also share. That will be the first thing that we're going to do tomorrow to share your ideas. Okay, guys, any questions, any doubts that you might have right now regarding our today's topic? Oh, see, one of the time, please. I know. I know everybody has doubts. I know that, but don't worry. Una la vez, por favor. One of the time, I know. Any doubts, any questions? Alguna duda, alguna pregunta? Homework, five, five sentences? Only five, five sentences, only five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, si quieren las diez por mí, no hay problema. No, <laughs> five will be fine. It's like, and it's like, no way, teacher. Okay, I send you an example. Les acabo de mandar un ejemplo, right? And what's up? Yeah, so take that example and try to do your, um, your, um, your examples that you're going to give it to me, but I'm going to do something extra. Le voy a dar algo extra. I will send you right now, guys, a screenshot, see? ¿sí? Con la, el resumen de um, la fórmula y los ejemplos de evaluations con adjectives, evaluations con nouns, y comparison with adjectives, comparison with nouns, para que no anden así como perdidos, right? Right. Thank so, you. Aha, I knew we're right. The, uh, uh -huh. Teacher, in yes, the Lugie? platform, in the platform is 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 examples. Ah yeah, ah really. Yes. Ah yeah yeah. No, but I didn't copy from the example, from the platform. I thought it, I invented. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was not. Pero entonces me copiaron de la plataforma que es diferente. Ash. Siempre me copian, I don't know why. I'm just kidding. No, en serio, no. siempre me copian. Ahí <laughs> están las fórmulas también. Ah, yes. Nada que la teacher hizo la plataforma. Nada, nada que ver. No, 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 no. No, no soy yo. <laughs> sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes no. Mentiras, no, 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 no hago nada de eso. No se preocupen. Les voy a mandar otra cosita. We'll send it to you another one. There you go. Y Charlie, the, the, the yes. amor is. We have to make five sentences using the comparatives with the apartments and house. Yes, comparatives and also evaluations. Oh, La dos. okay. That's why I sent it to you guys. Yeah, I just sent it to you right now. Did you receive it? Yeah. Lo recibieron en WhatsApp? Yeah. I yes. said, yes. basically, guys, this is going to yes. be the rest of me for today's class. I send you the example of, of the sentences. I send you a screenshot about the resume for evaluations with nouns and with adjectives, comparison with adjectives and nouns. And also I send you a, a, a formula and also an example of just only comparison with adjectives and nouns. So I think that would be enough for to help you to do your homework, okay? I Alex, I know Alex, it's time for you to go and take your, and drink your cup of coffee. I understand, yeah. right? Okay, guys, so thank you so much for being in today's class. To be honest with you, I miss you so much yesterday. I miss you a lot that you cannot imagine, but I'm so happy that I can be back. So guys, see you tomorrow. Hugs and kisses. Have tomorrow. a great night, okay? Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.